In this video, we'll be going over the physical connections on the Ultralight Mark V and how to hear yourself through monitoring. On the front panel, you'll find two combo jack inputs. Use these for connecting an XLR microphone, guitar, or line level input source. Use these gain knobs to adjust the input level. If you're using a condenser microphone that requires phantom power, push the 48 volt button to activate it for that input. If your input source is coming in too hot right away, use the pad button to decrease the input gain by minus 20 decibels. Then gain up your signal from there. The phone's jack is for connecting headphones. Use the main volume knob above it to adjust the volume of the phones or main outputs. Press the main volume knob to toggle between the output control. When controlling headphone volume, the phone's icon appears in the meter column on the display. On the back of the Ultralight Mark V, you'll find even more possible connection types. Starting on the back right are the additional line inputs 3 through 8. These inputs are for powered, line level audio sources like synthesizers, keyboards, mixers, and external outboard gear. Note that these are not for connecting guitars or quarter inch microphones. Next are the main outputs. This is where you would connect your left and right stereo monitors. After the main outputs are the additional line outputs 3 through 10. Use these to send audio to things like a mixer, external outboard gear, another recording device, additional studio monitors, and more. Note that these outputs are DC coupled, so they can be used for CV control of analog synthesizers. Lastly, you'll find SPDIF and optical I.O. for expanding to other digital sources, as well as MIDI I.O. for connecting to MIDI controllers and synthesizers. Now that you're familiar with the connection types, let's talk about monitoring. To monitor an input, open the QMix 5 app on your computer. On the Home tab, you should see a picture of your Ultralight Mark V and some basic controls. Below that, you'll find the Input Monitoring section. Here you'll find two rows for Main Out 1 and 2 and Phones. Click the number for the input you'd like to hear. For instance, if I want to hear Mic 1 through my headphones, I'd click Number 1 here. Check, check, one, two, check. If I want to hear line input three and four through my main outs, I'd click three and four here. This patches the signal through the Ultralight Mark V from the inputs directly to the outputs and makes it easy to quickly hear yourself in real time. The input signal is simultaneously sent to the computer to be recorded in your DAW software. To avoid unwanted doubling of live input signals, turn off audio patch through in your DAW software. In Performer Lite, choose Studio Menu, Audio Patch Through, Off. In Ableton Live Lite, choose Off under the monitoring section of the track. In the next video, we'll dive into the additional features of QMix 5. 